Moving to 157 pounds as St. Cloud State has extended its lead to 12-3 here in the semifinal round of the Division II portion. The NWCA multi-divisional national duels presented by the United States Marine Corps and TheraWorks. Jason Bryant of Matt Talk Online here with you. All this fantastic action. There are going to be two pretty solid wrestlers here. 157 pounds. Larry Bomstad, ranked number seven in the country for St. Cloud State. His opponent, ranked number 12, Brett Scholes. And Bomstad going to strike first. The All American from 2015. Seventh at 149 pounds two years ago. Now with the leg in. Bomstad, junior out of Lake Lillian, Minnesota. And wrestles for one of the co op type of schools. We just call it ACGC when you're up in Minnesota. His opponent, Brett Scholes, red shirt junior. Had a huge win in the quarterfinals, beating returning national champion Destin McCauley of Nebraska Kearney. Skulls out of Kewaskum, Wisconsin. Tip of the cap to Shane Sparks for helping me with that pronunciation. He's a Wisconsin guy. There's the escape for Skulls. Now, 2 1 lead for Bombstad. One of seven All Americans in this St. Cloud lineup. Skulls with the leg. Good hips. A little outside trip attempt and does convert, does Bombstad. So now, 4 1 lead. Good counter there by Bombstad. Took the attack by Skulls. Says, nope, my turn. Quickly jacked him up the arms. Threw the leg to the outside. Brings his opponent down to the mat for two points. Again, looks like Bombstad has a little ball and chain set up there, but will go out of bounds. And we got a stall warning against Skulls for essentially running out of bounds from that bottom position. Told you earlier we'd explain those stall rules when we got to them. Well, we got to them. The action, if it takes you out of bounds, will not be a stall. But if you are backing out of bounds, pushing straight out of bounds, or basically fleeing the mat, you are stalling. And of course, now we see the top man stalling here in a short time. Each athlete has a stall call. Referee Matt Zeitz is not playing the maracas. Skulls with choice, he'll start down. Riding time in favor of Bombstad at 154. 85 teams here, 85, that's just wild. One of the more exciting wrestling events on the calendar. Gotta be careful if you leave the mat to do that little cutback, it's illegal now. You gotta have at least one foot on the mat. A lot of injuries and knees blown out if you try to hop up and kick it out, cutting it back. That's a point of emphasis the last year or two. Skulls is uh, up and out. He gets that escape. So the lead cut in half, 4-2. Bombstad with over two minutes of riding time. Now with an 8-5 lead. 
Scholes drops to the leg. Tries to finish in there. You see Bombstead going back to that outside trip. Runs out of real estate. Under a minute to go here in the second. Three years ago when St. Cloud State won the first of its back-to-back -back NCAA Division II wrestling titles, the first national titles won in any sport at the school. Which does have a very good tradition recently with baseball and, of course, ice hockey. And again, the Montreal Canadiens-esque logo. Stoles tries to go up underneath, countered with a front headlock. And hanging on to right at the end of the period here is Bombstad. So we'll take a 4-2 lead. Bombstad will take a 4-2 lead here into the third and final period with choice and riding time. And Skoll says, no, nah, I'm not going to mess up on the man. I'm going to give you the optional start. And we will start the, or did he take neutral? It looks like optional start. Referee Matt Zeitz throws up the finger. It should be a 5-2 lead for Bombstad here. The referee's going over going, hey, let's, uh, let's, let's take care of that point here real quick. That's something you can do. You don't have to start in the referee's position. You can say, no, I want him up. We'll start on our feet. Getting things sorted out here in Fort Wayne. Now he got it taken care of. So 5-2 lead for Bombstad. And on the leg is Skulls going to try to set it down. Bombstad trying to lock and defend here. No control yet, says the official. Trying to crawl up. He's got both legs covered. There's two on the takedown for Skulls. Lead now 5 4. Gonna come out to the side. Maybe looking to whip over. Says, no, we'll just cut you free. Now 6 to 4. Minute to go. Bombstad with that riding time. It is assured at this point. So that's an extra point Skulls is gonna have to contend with if he wants to play the take him down, let him up game. I see there by Bombstad. Skulls looking to change the position here. And we'll draw a slip. Well, no stalemate yet. And it looks like we'll get a fresh start. 21 seconds to go. Essentially a 7-4 lead for Bombstad. Again, that riding time. There's Skulls. Back to that sweep. Doubles off, gets two more. 6-6. Six to six. Gonna need a quick turn here in short time. He's got the bar. He's tilting it over. He's looking, trying, trying to get some leverage here. Bombstad bellies out and hangs on. Furious rally there in the third period by Brett Scholes, but Larry Bombstad gonna hang on, pick up the 7-6 victory and extend St. Cloud's lead to 15-3.